Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first seven commandments, and now it's time for the eighth. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. We've looked at false witness in word and deed, but are we obligated to also be straight with people? Clearly, there are some instances where we're not obligated to tell people the truth. For example, if a serial killer wants to know how many relatives are at home with you. However, I'm talking about in situations where there's no good moral reason for keeping things from somebody. Is it okay to give people a halfway answer? The Catechism seems to raise this question. To follow Jesus is to live in the spirit of truth, whom the Father sends in his name, and who leads into all the truth. To his disciples, Jesus teaches the unconditional love of truth. Let what you say be simply yes or no. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2466, last two sentences. This, in turn, quotes a Bible verse where Jesus tells his disciples to answer people plainly. But let your speech be yea, yea, no, no. That which is over and above these is of evil. Matthew 5, 37. In other words, just say yes or no in answer to a yes or no question. We can answer like this for the purposes of being clear. Now, this is not a condemnation of giving proper explanations for why something is true or false, but merely to say, don't beat around the bush and don't give half answers. If the answer is no, just say no. If it's yes, just say yes. After all, 2 Peter 3.16 says that we should be ready to provide reasons for our hope. So, since it's okay to give reasons for why this isn't good, why isn't it good to beat around the bush and not answer fully? The answer is to be found, once again, in ethics. In ethics, actions are evil if the act itself is evil, if the intention is evil, or if the circumstances make the act evil, and so on. Now, deceiving someone is an evil act, because you take action to deceive them. When you just kind of give them a half answer, you're not acting directly to deceive the person, so the act is not evil in and of itself. However, the intention is for the person to not get the full truth. In other words, you want the person to fall short in their understanding, and that is an evil intention. As long as the intention is still to deceive, the act of giving a half answer is still an immoral action. Next time, what does the Eighth Commandment say about hypocrisy? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.